Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm out here on my folding bike and I'm heading on quite a ride today. I'm way out in the countryside and I'm heading towards this big mountain on the horizon. And I plan to find a place to stay up there for a couple of days. I'll be heading into the bush, right into the deep forest and I'll be going off the trail. So my plan is to find a place to camp, set up for a few days and we'll see what happens. I'm probably about 10 k's away and today I've got all my gear on the bike, my big pack and mostly that's because I'm carrying water. <laughs> I have to carry enough water to last me at least a few days. The bike's going pretty good. I'm rolling on these 20 inch wheels and the tires are, well, they're not totally off-road but they work on both sealed stuff and the gravel. Riding a folding bike makes it really easy to get on a train and get out into the countryside. So here in New Zealand we don't have that many trains but if you are from a country that has a lot of train services you can easily fold up your bike, head out into the countryside and then start your adventure. Everywhere you go in New Zealand you're surrounded by mountains, farmland and rivers and also roads. Once we get off this main highway here we're going to head onto the quiet country roads which will be a lot nicer for riding on. So the mountain I'm heading to is way over in the distance there, just poking out now. It's totally covered in mist, so I don't know if that's a good omen or not. I'm going to say yes. starting to get way out into the badlands now. Looks like a quarry out to that side of me. And the mountains are starting to really get a lot steeper. Oh, I can see a clearing up ahead and it looks like, damn it looks like we're changing to a gravel road just up ahead. So there is a quarry in there and it looks like we're being watched too. Got the cameras on us. Oh my goodness, it's good to get off the bike and stretch my legs and just take in this amazing view. What? So I've just taken my pack off and I'm here on the edge of the bush anyway. I'll probably just lock my bike up in here on one of these trees I think. That'll be the best way to go. And then head up. It's pretty steep and I've got about two hours of walking to get to the top of the mountain where I want to go so I shouldn't waste too much time. We want to get there before it gets dark. All right, we're ready. Got my bike locked up there. 
got all my stuff and um, ready to head up the hill. Yeah, it looks pretty steep, but good thing is I'm wearing the right kind of footwear. Let's get going. It will go. Oh, now I know this is going to be tough. I'm not sure if the steepness of the slope even shows on the camera, but you'll be able to get kind of a feeling for it, hopefully, and just see how thick the bush is out here in New Zealand. Now, you can probably tell that I'm not walking on any type of trail. So I should let you guys know, this is not really for the faint hearted. And if you are planning to go off the trail, wherever you are in the world, it's a good idea to take one of these. It's a GPS and you can mark where you entered the bush or the forest. And if it's really steep like this, it'll, it'll help stop you getting lost. It's not a 100% and if you are going off trail and you're going into a mountainous area I'd also recommend you carry an emergency personal locator beacon because if you slip and twist your ankle out here you're done. Alright guys, I'm deep in the forest now and I'm looking for a place to set up my camp. I've just left my gear back there and I'm checking out a spot out of the wind. There's a lot of animal activity around here, so hopefully I can find a place where I'll be left alone. Because I plan to stay here a couple of nights. This looks pretty nice in here and warm. I've found quite a well-used animal track and I'm following it. I think my spot here is as good as any underneath this big tree. The ground's not flat, but I can tie my hammock onto the, one of these branches here and then tie it onto that tree behind me. So I only have the hammock on this trip. I didn't bring the tent because I knew I'd be sleeping on some pretty rough terrain. Well, let's go ahead and set up. So this is the hammock I'm using and I don't have a shelter with me so I hope it doesn't rain but just in case that's why I'm camping underneath this big tree. That should work perfectly. Since I'm planning to stay for up to three nights, like hopefully at least two nights, I've bought quite a bit of food. Homemade bread, so two apples, three boiled eggs, some meat and potatoes, got a whole salami, a chunk of cheese, and a bag of greens from the garden. I might make a fire later, if it seems safe, if the winds drop down. I don't want to set anything on fire around me, so maybe a small little fire could do that. But we'll see if conditions are right. Is my lunch. Day one. I'm thinking of digging a little fire pit just down here. Put on something warm, getting a bit cold here. I've got my camp set up and I'm gonna put my food up in the tree just so the rats can't get to it. I have salami and cheese and some quite strong smelling food that I'm sure they would love to eat. If any of you guys are wondering what exactly I am doing out here in the forest for two days, there's a little Easter egg for you. And if you wanna know more, then you're gonna to have to have a look over in the 
Hobo Club members area where I'll show just exactly how I get food plus a lot of other hobo secrets that will help you if you want to live for free, travel for free and much more. It's raining. I've just been out exploring this clearing and it is absolutely hosing down on me in all directions. I really need to get back to camp. I'm absolutely soaked. I'm soaked, my jeans are soaked. I only bought one set of clothes, so. It's not ideal. Once I find my camp, I think starting a fire will be absolutely paramount. Here it is, oh yes. And I've managed to stay pretty dry under here, yes. Oh, a little bit wet, a little bit wet. I'm absolutely soaked. This could be problematic because I don't have a contingency for being wet now. I think I've just got to start a fire and do my best to stay warm. I'm going to start my little fire down there. I found some trash as I was walking around and um, put the trash in there so I can get my fire started. And then on these branches, I can hang my clothes to dry. I think that's the only way to go. Gosh. All right, I've taken my hammock down because that was getting soaked. Took the jeans off and they're absolutely soaked. So I don't have any pants to wear. I have wet weather pants if it came down to it. I guess I should have been wearing those when I was out in the rain. All the wood's wet. It's not lighting, come on. Come on, it's so windy and wet. It's freezing here. Come on. No. This is not working. This is not working. Wet, 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 everything. Gee. Paper, yes. Let's try and burn up some of this wet wood. Come on. This is our shot. Come on, baby. so windy it's just so dangerous to have a fire but I'm going to freeze if I don't I think because it's so wet everywhere it should be fine come on jeans dry dry so I don't have to walk around naked Yes, we have fire. Burning the hammock would not be a good idea. I had to put the hammock in uh, the bag again and just take it down because it's still raining hard and it's getting really soaked. I hope it doesn't rain in the night. If I get soaked tonight, I'm going to have to move on and find somewhere to dry out. Don't forget to hit that super thanks button to support the channel so you can see more videos like this. My jeans are drying. They're steaming. Just stepping away from my camp to see how smoky it looks in the valley. That's weird. Oh! There's... Wow. I'm on top of this ridge line. It's where I'm camping. So the weather's coming in from over there. My face is full of smoke. All my clothes, I smell so smoky. I'm really dirty. 
that's where my camp is. And then this is the valley that I came up from. So the road's about two kilometers that way. I sat beside the fire for four hours. I'm still wet. It's still burning. Ah, I'm getting ready for night time. The rain's not done yet. It's supposed to rain tonight. I will prepare to get wet. The hammock's pretty cozy. It's a good view from up here. Hopefully I can get some sleep tonight. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let me turn the slide down. That's bearable. Uh, it's five o'clock. It was very windy last night. The weather forecast is for 20 knots, increasing to 30 knots. So it will be very, very windy and cold here. I think I'm gonna have to get out of here today. It rained a little bit last night but not too bad, but perhaps a little cold for my liking in the wind, in the hammock. So I'm not really covered, so I was kind of cold. Well, I was pretty cold. That wind is relentless. It is freezing. I don't need to get up, but it is chilly. I'm all packed up now. I'm ready to hike out of here. I think the wind and the weather just got the best of me in this spot. It would have been nice to stay for a few more days, but um, just getting uncomfortable and time to move on to the next one. All right, let's get hiking and get out of here. It's about two hours to the road. <laughs> let's go. Hard walking up here. Yes. There's my bike. As unstolen as ever. Right where I left it.
Oh, luckily I didn't lose the keys. Awesome. back in civilization. Well, that feels better. Back on the bike. Time to get some wind in my hair.